Hey guys, how are you going? Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the Teensy board uh, with the Arduino IDE. Now if you're not sure what Teensy is, go and check out some of our other tutorials which cover what the Teensy board is, a few of the different models of Teensy and their functionality, but one of the really really cool things if you didn't know is that they're extremely powerful microcontroller boards, really really small, running ARM Cortex processors that are compatible with the Arduino IDE. So this means that you get the power of ARM Cortex processors, you know, this guy's running at 96 megahertz, uh, stacks of EEPROM, flash, RAM, heaps and heaps of awesome specs in a tiny little compact package, which is compatible with the wiring abstraction found in Arduino. So if you're not sure what Arduino is or the ID or the programming language, uh, we're not gonna cover that today. Check out our other Arduino tutorials. And today we'll look at uh, installing the Teensy Duino Loader application and writing our first program onto the Teensy board. So, uh, in our tutorial, in the content, there's a link to where you can download the Teensy Duino application. And this application acts as a gateway between the Arduino IDE and your Teensy board. It takes the compiled code from Arduino and ports it over onto here. And the Teensy board just has a micro USB connector, uh, similar to many of the Arduino boards or other you know, consumer electronics. So all you're gonna need is a micro USB cable and your Teensy board. I've got the 3.2 here, but the Teensy LC, the 3.5, 3.6, all the current gen models, or any of the older models as well will work you know, just fine. So follow the link there. Uh, it's available for Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, as well with a few variations in the steps that you might need depending on the operating system you'll be using them with, but for the most part, you simply download the application, install it, uh, tell it where your Arduino program files are. So if you're in Windows, it would be in your C drive, program files. Um, yeah, and away you go. So go ahead and download that. We've already got it downloaded and configured, and you'll get a couple of screens, like a typical installer. Uh, just click next, next, make sure that's where your Arduino files are when it comes to it. And this is going to install the board profiles uh, onto the Arduino IDE along with some of the core libraries for the Teensy. Because if you plug it in without installing this and go to select it in boards, it's not going to come up. But now we've got it installed, plug your Teensy into the computer. Now the Teensy by default will uh, start running whatever program was on it last, same with most microcontrollers. Now if it's a uh, new out of the box Teensy, it's going to run a blink program, so the onboard LED uh, is going to blink. Now that's on pin 13, just the same as an Arduino Uno, you know, designed to be really compatible. Um, otherwise, I think I've already got a, a different project loaded up and onto here, which is why it's not uh, not loading. But let's go ahead and open up the Arduino IDE. All right. So we've just downloaded it. Now, you want to close the Arduino IDE before you install the Teensy Loader application, then open it up again, and all that stuff, uh, you know, the board so that you can select will be in there. But you're going to want to restart it. Alrighty, ignore that previous project. Now, let's go uh, create new. Create a new project. And. Uh, now, if we go into, make that a bit bigger thing. See, so go into uh, tools and board, you will see the Teensy boards here. So 3.6, 3.5, 3.2 slash 3.1, 3.0, Teensy LC, Teensy plus plus 2.0, Teensy 2.0. Pretty much the current gen models plus some of the last gen models to maintain some backwards compatibility. So I want to select the Teensy 3.2 because that's what uh, we'll be using. And from here, it's pretty much uh, you know, as straightforward as loading a SketchUp with an Arduino board. Um, so we want to go file, let's find an example. So let's use the Echo Serial example. So you notice there's a Teensy folder for examples now. So some that show, uh, you know, some of the functionality that's uh, awesome with Teensy and is probably unique to Teensy that some of the other Arduino boards don't have. So there's not uh, tutorials or examples on those. So Serial. Echo both. Now this is a really simple program, didn't even need to open up a new application, that um, is designed to echo whatever's coming through the serial port from one device to the other. So we can uh, just double check that your board's loaded up. Now you've got here USB type. Now this is important because Teensy boards are so cool because they can operate as different USB device types. Uh, just a standard serial port which you would use 
you know, as a regular Arduino, they can operate as a MIDI device, as a HID device, like a keyboard or a MIDI controller, a joystick, uh, flight simulator, game pads, anything you like, plus combinations of those. But for now, we just want uh, serial. Now you've got different CPU speeds, so just processor uh, clock speeds here. Pretty much the default will go to 96 megahertz optimize speed overclock. Overclock is anything scary here, it's just sort of, the, you know, a really quick speed that the Teensy board can run at. It's gonna be perfectly fine, you're not gonna damage your board at all. It can go up to 120 megahertz, right down to two megahertz, I believe. Uh, only with special USB types, but yeah, stick with 96 and you'll be fine. Select the port. Now I think this is COM port four. It'll tell us if not. And that's all we need to do. So when we click upload, it will compile our code and it'll open up uh, a little window, as you'll see in a moment, uh, for the Teensy Duino application. So wait for it to finish compiling. Compiling, compiling. Now, when you are uploading it uh, via Teensy, sometimes, just very rare occasions, you'll get a little message in the uh, sort of the black text area of the IDE saying the Teensy did not reset automatically or something to that effect. And that's because, um, there you go, so we just uploaded. But that, that's because uh, the essentially the Teensy Duino application is resetting the Teensy. Uh, which is required to upload new code to it. But sometimes something just goes wrong, usually can be fixed by just hitting re-upload again. Now this is the Teensy Duino loader window. You actually don't need to touch anything in here. You can use it, you can upload uh, hex and binary files into that to upload directly to your Teensy board, so bypassing the Arduino IDE. But otherwise it will just pop up when you click upload, flash a few times, don't really need to worry about it. So, now, into our serial monitor. Ah, okay, so I had the wrong COM port selected. So it's always best to double check, even if you think you know which one it is. Just double check, otherwise your serial monitor is not gonna work. So tools, now the one that disappeared was 19 when I unplugged it, so it stands to reason that our Tensi is on COM port 19. Now serial monitor. All right, so it's operating at um, 9600 board, which is what we've set in our code. Now I can type any uh, any character into here, so let's say a G, and it's going to return, it's gonna echo that character. Now G uh, on the ASCII uh, ASC2 table is 103, character 103, so it's echoing 103. F uh, would be 102, E, 101, D, 100, etc., etc. So that's our uh, that's our first program onto our Teensy. You saw how easy it is, you load up the Teensy Duino, so install the Teensy Duino application onto your computer uh, and it just interacts with Arduino. It's super, super easy, which is awesome. So that's all for today, guys. Check out some of our other Teensy tutorials, our project section for some awesome project ideas, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. See you guys.